money and make a stack. I'm on to the next one. On to the next. I'm on to the next one. On to the next. I'm on to the next one. On to the next. I'm on to the next one. On to the next. Hold up. Hey YouTube, this is uh the final installment for UVB. Um, what I'm going to cover, what I covered previously was incandescent bulbs. Now I'm going to go over fluorescent bulbs. It's kind of involved, and I know a lot of people are going to pretty much like brain dump 90% of what I would say if I went through, you know, how an electrode is charged and it charges a tiny piece of mercury, and that mercury is excited and it interacts with the argon gas and all of that stuff. I'm going to leave that alone. But I did say it, so feel free to like Google, you know, uh, fluorescence and things like that. So basically, what I'm going to hit on is I'm going to pretty much go over the why UVB costs so much and how it actually works in regards to fluorescent lighting. Okay, so the first things first, you were trying to figure out why all of our UVB lights are fluorescent UVB lights. That's the only. Uh, come are thirty dollars so most glass window glass uh, any type of like standard building glass it usually comes in what's called the form of soda lime glass okay now soda lime glass what they do with that just there like I said there's a coating of phosphorus um, and that coating of phosphorus you know there's a certain amount in every uh, fluorescent bulb so the phosphorus is that white stuff you see, okay? Now, there's a set amount of it, blah, 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 blah. That's how regular light, their regular lights are made of soda lime glass. They're coated with the phosphorus, which is that white stuff you see, and then it's clear at the, the very tip of it. That's what that is, okay? Very inexpensive to uh, make when you use, to make those lights when you're using soda lime glass. And that's why, you know, those particular regular fluorescent lights will be like $7, $8, okay? And they're, they're not they're using basically a you know a certain level of phosphorus now UVB lights they're not made of soda lime glass they're made of what's called a a, for, a different a different form of a fused silica which also could be considered like quartz glass I'm not gonna go over the periodic table I'm not gonna go over all of that but just understand that it's more expensive to use uh, quartz in regards to making this complete it's considered to be to have no impurities as opposed to the soda lime glass, which is mixed with a couple of different little things to make it what it is, okay? Now, I guess you can see it's the same thing as having, eating like free-range chicken or organic chicken versus some stuff that you, you know, some Kentucky Fried Chicken or I guess whatever, you know, bad analogy, but you know what I'm saying, organic versus regular, you know? Okay, so look at, think of lights like that. Think of your UVB, UVB light as your organic light. You think of your fluorescent light as your you know, your standard, run-of-the-mill, you know, fast food type of light, okay? Now, you got two different types of glass. You also have a phosphorus coating in a UVB light, which is the same white. So you're thinking, what's the difference? They look, they look the same. There's less phosphorus in the UVB light. The reason that there's less phosphorus is because when that light charges and all the, that gas exchange is happening, you know, which is different from incandescent lights, which uses heat to produce, to produce this light. When that gas exchange is happening and all these atoms and particles are interacting with each other, they're producing ultraviolet light, okay? That phosphorus, the large amount of it in a regular soda line fluorescent light is basically like changing that light into white. You get what I'm saying? Basically filtering it in such a way. When you use UVB, it's not filtering it as much because there's not as much phosphorus which means that more UVB is coming through, okay? Now, you might think more UVB is coming through. What are you talking about, blah, blah, blah. Remember, I went over in a previous video, UVA, UVB, UVC. So UVA, UVB. Now, you have three types that are in this light. You have the UVA, which runs about, let's say a five, let's say you grab a light that says 5% on it. So that means it's 30% UVA. It's, I'm sorry, it's 30% it's UVA. It's 5% UVB. And that other 65% is strictly visible light produced by that gas exchange. That's how that works. It's pretty much cut and dry, okay? And the same thing with a 10. Just change the numbers, you know, make them applicable. So it'd be 25, it'd be 10, and then it'd be 65. You know what I mean? For the sake of argument. So that's why we pay so much more. 
that we're paying for the manufacturing and all everything else, blah, 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 blah. That's what we're paying for. Okay? Um, there's some other lights that I may or may not go through. I kind of try to keep this kind of quick because I am driving and I just don't have the time. Uh, so, like I said, feel free to Google uh, fluorescent lighting. That's the best way to learn about fluorescent lighting. And my Brother, I'm a grown-up. No, I'm not a virgin. I use my car.